Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we'll be going over a pretty quick video on the Portapak H4M or the Portapak H2. And we're gonna be looking at the weather app on the receive function of Mayhem. I am running still Mayhem 24-1208, so just a few days old. I'm sure there is a new nightly out there, but let's get into it. We're gonna to go to receive. Let's go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom and go to weather over here on the uh, kind of towards the bottom on the left hand side. Click on that guy. And you can see that I already have a received signal from an Accurite uh, 592. Now the transmitter of this one is in my uh, beetle box, which is outside right now. I do I side work of taxidermy beetle cleaning. Uh, for fun that transmitter is over there in that box and currently outside temperature uh, here in Montana is roughly about 28 degrees but I have heat lamps and that box is insulated so you can see that inside of that box we are looking at 69 degrees that was received about nine seconds ago now and the humidity is 12 percent and that is sending on channel one now these uh, weather transmitters receive on a few different bands. Accurites uh, transmit on the 433 megahertz and a few others transmit on 315. Some transmit on 144-ish. For the majority, most of these are gonna be on your 433.92, at least for the Accurite brand. So if you ever are around town and you see these look kind of like a little, uh, like a little tannish transmitter about yay big, and they may be outside by a window or um, by a door, hanging on a tree even. Those more than likely are for an Accurite system like this right here. This is what is the received portion of what is in my beetle box. So you can see that the high was 73, the low was 67, and currently we are at 69 degrees Fahrenheit and 12% humidity. And this other bottom area, this other data, time, and uh, relative possible uh, indoor temperature, that's uh, what is being registered on the actual unit. It's not, it's not being transmitted from here to the porta pack. Uh, the only transmission signal is from the actual unit that is outside in my beetle box. That's the gist of the weather app. So if you're around town, you're like, oh, you know what, I want to kind of see what this app does and you start seeing kind of these Accurites and there's a few other brands out there. Tempest weather stations, there's uh, Lacrosse is another popular brand that I've seen. Uh, these kind of generic ambient ones. Uh, but yeah, these can be found on Amazon if you are interested in purchasing one. You never know, your neighbors may have one of these and you can pick it up. And again, that setting is just gonna be right there in your receive function. And then just kind of right below the recon as of right now, uh, it's just the weather and you just tap on that guy and then uh, give it about 30 seconds and usually it'll start populating some data if there is a unit in your area. You can change the Fahrenheit from to Celsius if, if you're, you know, outside of the U.S. You know, we're kind of weird over here. So that's really all there is to this app. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I appreciate your time as always. Stay tuned for another video coming out on NRF. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Stay tuned because I have a video coming out on the KV4PHT. This is a, uh, this will be a sponsored video that we'll be talking about here soon. This little USB-C thing right there. This is a two meter radio that goes to an Android based phone. So stay tuned for that video coming out here in the next few days and I will have a giveaway for two of these. So thanks for your time and I will see you guys in the next video.